Hey guys, George here, and tonight what I will be doing is, or maybe in the morning, depending on when you are watching the video, uh, what I'll be doing is playing a solo Clearing Colville, which is uh, ASL Scenario S5 from Starter Kit number 1. It's a wonderful scenario, and um, in terms of tactics, it's, um, it, it, it's the ultimate. Uh, scenario in terms of tactics because what you got to do is expel the Germans from this zone surrounded by um, this perimeter uh, of hexes and, and um, basically um, what the key uh, element is here is to uh, take the village in such a way as to deny the German any route locations any legitimate routes and eliminate as much as you can uh, by the tactic of uh, going in towards the rear and um, whatever units he has set up in, in, in an area away from you, he cannot route them back or closer to you, thus eliminating him. So in essence, what we're going to have as the Americans is, let's see if we can pick a color here and do some, some drawing. Pick this one. That's a bit, bit too big, so let's resize that. There you go. So in essence, what we're going to have is Americans right here, trying to enter from here. Let's try that again. Right. There you go. Establishing a fire base here so they can fire. This fellow here will be attempting to deny a route location to any units that are set up here. And this is a bit of a fire base that is aimed at breaking uh, units that are set up in his immediate line of sight. Now, Tyler, Lieutenant Tyler, is in a stone building, is in rally terrain, and if this fellow breaks, um, all he has to do is route nearby in this location here. Yeah, and uh, the reinforcements are going to come in uh, uh, around this location and try to take the village from the rear, or put pressure around this line of defense. Um, the Germans, on the other hand, okay, let's uh, clean up. So the Germans, on the other hand, are going to try and establish a fire base here. With an M a heavy, somewhere in this vicinity, right, where they can deny movement to the Americans from the open ground. They're going to try and either establish a defensive perimeter here or there to ward off the uh, onslaught of the Americans coming in. Alternatively, they may end up setting up here where they can take pot shots at long distance at them. Or it may be a combination of both. Now, in order to handicap myself, I am playing as the Americans. I do, contrary to the um, scenario card instructions, which is the German sets up first and the American moves first, I've done the reverse. By doing the reverse and not knowing uh, where the uh, Germans will set up ultimately, I kind of give the imaginary player or the other player a bit of an advantage. So let's turn off those... Uh, Chicken scratches, there you go. And turn to the board and kind of zoom in and see what happened or what I'm doing. What I'm doing here is uh, essentially this group will have to enter from the south edge, which is pretty clear as to where they're gonna come in from. Uh, but these units, I've, I divided them up into little fire groups, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. And I'm using these sash, sashful uh, chits to find out 
and ultimately where they're going to be set up. And the other thing that's pretty random is how many half squads I'm going to get. So I'm going to roll for that now. Uh, so on turn one, if I roll a one, two, three, I get four. Uh, four to six, I roll, I get three half squads as the American. So let's do that now. It's a five. Everybody see that? Yep, five. So I only get three half squads. And uh, let's clone. Clone one more time. There, remove that label. Thinking cap on. All you fellows that are still in high school or university, you can ask, always ask for a break. This is a Geneva Convention. You ask for a break to put on your thinking cap, the teacher has to give it to you. All right, so let's put one half squad entering here and Oh, I cloned these guys with the label. Label, get rid of it. Okay, and let's put another squad here, another squad uh, here, and ex I'll explain uh, what is going on and why I set them up like that in a moment. Okay, so now uh, what remains is where I want to put the German player, and I think Ultimately, uh, I would like to set up the uh, half squad here, not the half squad, but the uh, heavy machine gun with uh, Lieutenant QB there. Uh, so I'm going to draw a chit, chit and if the his pop, uh, number pops up or his letter pops up, I'll, he'll set up there. If not, and it's another one of those letters, that's the unit that's going to go there. I, we don't have an I, so let's just... Um, Close it. Let's see if he's going to pop up here. That's another good place to set up the uh, heavy. P, we don't have a P. Okay, how about here? Oops, let's undo that. There you go. I'll put here and uh, draw CC. Well, nope. How about here? B. So B is there. Now, according to the scenario card, the German player can set up uh, between hex rows H and R. It doesn't say inc uh, uh, inclusive, so I'll have to put that guy back. Yeah. I'll have to put those units back. That was an illegal setup area. Now let's see who would set up here. W. Nope. Let's go back. And uh, how about here? C. So there's a squad. How about the heavy being here? Nope. Let's go through them and see what happens. GG, Q, I, no I, X, W, H, H, nope, draw, V, draw, I, draw again, J, draw again, Q, draw, C. We got C. Oh. He's already done. Draw DD, draw B. Okay, B is there. S, Y. Okay, let's draw again. Okay, nope. Nope. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep drawing until these guys end up somewhere on the board. Um, so I'll pause the video and then 
uh, once I get everybody on the board, I'll come back and um, and uh, show you the ultimate setup as it's happening randomly here. Now, I did have a 6 plus 1 liter there, but ultimately I don't think D should go there. Um, but it, it's something. But uh, a 1 to 6, there's no odds of him ever winning anything over there. So we'll draw another location. Ultimately, once I um, did all the random picking, I got a setup similar to, to this, or identical to this. This is exactly the setup that uh, has uh, arrived. So we have two, four, six, seven squads where they can fire in this direction and that direction to impede anyone's progress. They're not going to be in anybody's way uh, directly in this guy's uh, line of fire. This fellow here can also uh, fire as well, and he can sculpt back to here and then form a fire group and fire here. This fellow has this area covered and this, so it's not a bad location. Now, as for Hube uh, being here, he does have a bead on Tyler, and this was came about completely random. Instead of having him set up here or here, he's just, uh, there, and he can take a, a pot shot at the, at the Americans and probably do some damage. So overall, in the overall scheme of things, this setup doesn't appear to be that bad. Now, I also had one fellow there, and nobody has ever done that before, because, of course, um, the American player has a 9 minus 2 leader and, uh, and a 666. If you put a lonely squad in there, and this guy either, well, he cannot assault move into the hex, but he can advance in the advanced phase into that building in close combat with you. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be 7 to 4, which uh, in terms of odds, in terms of odds, it's, uh, it's 3 to 2, uh, and then the German attacks uh, 1 to 2. It's a 3 to 2 minus 2 because... The leadership DRM is high. So ultimately, uh, there's a high probability that Ronald advancing into O10, into that wooden building, will eliminate the, uh, the 467 four, outright from, from the get go uh, from going to close combat. But there is still a chance, although my, a minute chance, that. Uh, that lonely 467 going up against a, a, a 666 and a 9-2 leader rolls a 3 or a 4, which can either casualty reduce the squad or wound the leader. I'll, I'll bite minute. So it's something to think about if you are a risk taker. Like they say in the financial world, high risk, high reward. No risk, no rewards. Anywho, let's go on with turn number one. And we'll keep the board here as big as possible so you can see what's happening. And uh, rally phase, I have no rallies. Let's go on to prep. And in terms of prep, well... They're going to, these two squads are going to fire group, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hexes away. So it's a six infantry fire table plus three for the building. So let's roll that and see what transpires. So I got an eight on the six, which is, uh, let's pull out the rat charts. Fantastic check. So it's not uh, all in vain here. So he prep fired, and this unit prep fired. We take a task check, we eight or less for the leader. He pins, and the unit does not. So we have a pin leader, which means there goes his leadership DRM uh, in the defensive fire phase. But 
Um, we do have a nice heavy over there. Now, uh, this leader here, Tyler, should he take a shot here or there? And this guy's in a stone building. I think what he's going to do instead is he will fire against this unit here. So we got a six, one, two, three, four, five hexes away, so they're in range. Uh, six plus four is 10. Uh, that would be on the A table. Minus one for the leadership theorem, plus one for the hindrance, plus three for the for the stone building, so that makes it a, a total of eight up three. Seven plus three is is uh, ten. That's nothing, but we have right on the MG, so that's a four up three. They don't cower because it's leader directed. So seven on the four is a, another pin task check right there. That unit passed, and uh, my last roll was. Two, four, so I still have rate, so another four up three. That's nothing. So he put, put fired. Um, also, I'll end dandy. Now, I think I, I fired everybody that could uh, make a consequential um, effect. So I'll turn to movement. So in terms of movement, what we're going to do is assault move to there and the um, Germans are going to hold fire here a half squad uh, his job is to cause a little bit of trouble so he's going to go uh, double time two to there and then Three and a half to there. That's not assault movement. Three and a half to there. And I believe five to there. And he's going to stop there. Now, this fellow is going to take a shot at him. At four, down one. So there is no terrain effects modifier there. He did use non assault movement. So that's where the minus one comes from. So four down one. And completely missed. So he first fired. And now there is two residuals there. And can't fire at him again. He only used one and a half fire uh, fire points. Now everybody else will hold their fire. Okay. So non assault movement again. Two, three and a half. And Major Ronald here will assault move to there. Everybody's going to hold their fire. This fellow is going to use non-assault movement. So here, it's one and a half. And they're declaring double time. Uh, he'll take a shot to there, will he? He does have a clear line of sight. But... There'll be a heck of a lot of uh, modifiers. Because he has two hindrances in the way. Well, it's not that bad. Two hindrances in the way, and his range is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're going to have three for the LMG, and two uh, for long distance for the squad. That's a five. It will be a four. A four up one. Two hindrances, and minus one for non-assault movement. Four up one. Here goes. Five, six on the four which is a normal morale check. That sounds good. Uh, morale check. 
seven breaks. Now he broke. Now how many residuals does that um, give us? Normally it would be a four. Um, uh, normally it would be a, a two residuals there, but there's two hindrances that negate uh, completely the residuals. And what happened there is I rolled on the IFT and I did not get right. There's no one on the color die. Okie dokie. So here he first part. All right, now he'll do a double time. Two to there. Three and a half. And five to there. And let's see if he needs to double time or not. So that would be one and a half, three, and then four and a half to there, and six to there, if I did my numbers right. I did, I did, I did do my numbers right. So he'll, uh, he'll move a total of six movement factors, one and a half, three, Four and a half, and four and a half to there, six. Now actually, at that point, he might be able to fire. So let's take a, that line of sight there, and, and I think it's worthwhile hitting him. So there's one hindrance. It's a range of eight, and he used non-assault movement, so it's a two-even shot, only in the squad and the leader that moved with that squad. And that's a complete miss. And he first fired. He made it to there. Now, as the American player, the only thing I got left is to call for defensive fire and get rid of the residuals. So in terms of defensive fire, it's quite obvious that I can fire group these two units and fire there. Or group these two units and fire there. It's certainly not worth my time trying to eliminate him. So we'll do an eight, uh, eight even shot. Let's see. Oh, there's no hindrance there. So it's an eight even shot here to there. Let's do it. Three on the eight. Three on the eight, that's a K2. Yeah, that dude is eliminated. So they final fired. Oh boy. And now here, this squad is going to try and eliminate one of these two babies. Uh, so we'll go with this unit first. Let's see if there's a hindrance in the way. Here. No hindrance, range of seven. So the squad is half to two firepower factors, seven for the HMG. So that's a eight even shot to there. Let's see what we do. Four on the eight. This doesn't bode well for the Americans. Four on the eight is um, a two morale check. So and I got right. Or a check. What's my ER? ELR is three. I rolled a ten. So this fellow ELRs. 
and breaks. So since we got rate, it will fire, fire again at 6, even, 10, no rate, and no effect. And he final fired. So after all is said and done, we got a couple of units. Even with this setup that seems to be look mediocre, but in fact it's not. Uh, and that's why in this scenario you really have to pay attention to how you play the Americans well, because eliminating units that have stone buildings as cover is very hard. And the best way to accomplish this task really is by um, is by um, elimination for failure to rout. And if you position your Americans in the right place at the right time and you exert the right amount of firepower factors, then you might win. If not, it ain't going to happen. So let's go on to uh, advancing fire. And during advancing fire, we cannot fire MMGs. But we can certainly try and fire group these two uh, units and fire there. It will be a six up a lot. It ain't worth it. This guy doesn't have a loss to anybody. And this guy here, this unit here is a half squad and already has at least one um, hindrance there. You know, plus three DRM for that building. It ain't going to happen. So no advancing fire. Let's go to route. Okay, and let's eliminate moves, prep, and death fire. Uh, his route location is pretty evident. It's the woods. Uh, this fellow uh, is one, two, three, four away. So he can go here into the orchard and then there. And he will not be getting any closer. One, two, three, four, five. So one to there, two, three to there. And um, ASL cup, drinking some red rose tea. So we routed. Let's go to advanced phase. Now uh, he established a nice fire base there with 12 firepower factors. He's following up. Uh, he'll just go here and try to be a pest. Um, Tyler is going to stay where he is. This fellow is going to stay where he is. Um, over here, I got at least a minus two um, a minus two leadership DRM that negates really the hindrances that I have in my way. So I'm just going to advance that squad back in there so I can take advantage of the leadership DRM and, uh, and also uh, fire at 12 firepower factors and try and break everybody as opposed to uh, fire grouping uh, and then having to... Uh, uh, add the the hindrance rule onto my my uh, two kill shots. So that's my advanced phase close combat. We don't have any. We can remove our moves, and I highly recommend that you do a partial save and a picture capture after every turn. So in case you need to go back for any reason or you need to re, uh, rewind. For any reason, you, you have a partial save, and it doesn't necessarily have to be because you want to redo your turn. It can be uh, for security sakes, so you don't lose any data while you're playing if you have a power failure or something happens to your computer. It's also a, way, a good way of, of knowing where you la last, uh, um, um, where your last turn was because you save everything in terms of turn turn 1A, turn 1B, 2A, 2B, 
and A being the attacker, B being the defender. So we've done that save, and let's turn the turn tracker to German turn one rally phase. And we'll put that, that nationality marker there. So the German has no rallies, no broken squads. This fellow will lose his DM marker because he's in rally terrain, and so will he. Go. Oh. And all the action is up here. We don't have any reinforcements coming in this turn, or we do? No, we don't. Next turn up. All right. So now what do we do? Oh, let's remove all pins. Great. And Lieutenant Hube is back in action. And now we have the minus one DRM. And what are we going to do? Well, what we're going to do is actually move some units and actually fire some units. So um, since rally phase is over, let's move the marker to prep, German prep. Oh, this is interesting. All right, let's take a look at this action here. In terms of prepping, we'll do a, a four up two there. Seven on the four is a pin task check. And he is pinned and this fellow prep fired. Okay, now Hube is going to use his leadership to DRM and fire to there. And let's take a look at the, at the line of sight. It is range of eight, one hindrance. So uh, we have seven for the heavy, two for the squad that makes it nine, drops down to the eight table. And we have uh, eight up three against Tyler. Let's see what happens there. Nothing happens there and we don't have any rate. So he prep fired. Now this fellow here is perfectly fine where he is. I don't think he can affect anybody here, but he certainly has this fire lane um, open to him, covering this fire lane with the LMG and his inherent firepower. Would in, that impedes him from advancing straight into the village, but the Americans don't need to advance into the village. What they need is a clear line of sight to every hex in this zone to be able to fire, break them, and prevent them from routing. That's the key to winning as the American, I find. Okay, so do we turn to movement phase? I think we should. So let's go to movement. And what we'll do is a simple skulk, but we're not necessarily skulking. Um, we'll move to here, put assault move to there. So he cannot fire at, at us, but he might have line of sight. So I'm gonna trace that line of sight. Uh, but it was an assault move, so I can wait and see what he, uh, I, I, the German player will do next. And he will skulk back to here. All right, um, movement phase is over. He'll hold his position. See what we can do. Let's go to defensive fire. Um, let's see if we have line of sight. And if we do, we'll fire. If not, we'll roll in any case. And we don't have line of sight, we'll fire 10. And he final fired. Consequential. Now he'll fire there. So it's a, an 8. Uh, actually, 6 plus 4, yeah, is 10. Goes down to the 8 table. 8 uh, up 3. Nope. Nothing there. No rate. 
and we'll do a six. Should we do a six up four? No. We'll do a nothing. <laughs> nothing. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, that would be a three. A three, we'll go down to two. Nope. All right, and let's see if Ronald has line of sight anywhere. Uh, let's see if we can trace a sneaky line of sight here. Uh, I wouldn't risk it for the biscuit. Let's see, here to there. Not close. Let's, uh, the way I like to do it is eyeball it like this. Oh, well, I'll risk doing uh, fire uh, here. All right, let's do it. Ooh, chops the corner of the building. Fires does not get rate. If I did have rate, I would try another line of sight check. All right, so he found a fire. Let's go to advancing fire. So now we got a four up one. Let's do that. Five, six on the four. That's something. It's a normal morale check. Morale check. Great. A normal morale check, I rolled a nine. Uh, so that is exactly his ER, so he just broke. So he advanced fired. Not worth firing anything here. Um, damning him, he's only a half squad. We certainly don't have line of sight there. We're good. So now what do we do? Go to route phase. Let's uh, eliminate all the moves, all the prep, and death fire. Routing this dude here is pretty simple. He just goes back to there. And that's all the routes we have. So next phase is advance phase for the Germans. So we're going to try and form two uh, fire groups that exert eight firepower factors. If we break, so be it. One to there, one to here. One to there, not halts. Actually, uh, we don't have another squad. Let's go here. All right, and what is Holtz going, Hubie going to do? Hubie is going to move here. Because there's a plan. I think there's a plan. All right. Let's go to close combat. None. Let's remove all the moves. And that is turn 1B. Just saving the game rather quickly. 1B dot PNG. B dot B solve. And we're ready for ally turn two. And the first thing we need to do in uh, during a rally phase is determine where our reinforcements are going to come in. Yep. And at uh, this time we can uh, go from enter from J10. And it's on or west of J10, so in this direction. And we need to determine how many half squads we have. So turn two, um, we can have either five or four. And we rolled three, so that means five. Five half squads. So let's clone these babies. Two, four, 
one more five. Jeez. Now the oops. Oh, there's five. Now the only problem here is, the only problem here is, is that um, I only have one lonely leader. So the way I'm going to work it out is as follows. Stop jerking around, George. I'm going to team up the leader with the half squads. I'll tell you why in a minute. Okay. And then these babies here, these squads, are going to go help reinforce the far group on the north edge of the board. So what's going to happen is as follows. So we're not going to be overstacking here. That's all fine and dandy. So that's all good. And then the leader, that's not overstacked too because we only have two and a half squad equivalents. That leader is going to come in through there. So now let's rally. We have a soft rally. And this fellow, as far as I know, was a hash squad. This is a 526. So um, let's let's try and soft rally him. We need a, a, a seven or less. Do not get it. And in this case here, we have a otherwise an eight due to desperation morale. It's a four, five, four being in terrain, and six with the leadership DRM. Doesn't make it, but its DM comes off. And this pin comes off as well. Uh, now we can go to prep. And he will prep. And he'll uh, attack the unit in the middle of this fire group. Because once you attack the middle unit and break him, they can no longer fire group. And as they are uh, situated now, they can exert 12 firepower factors, which is pretty good. So we'll do a 12 up 3, leader directed. So we got 8 on the 12th chart, which is probably a 1 morale check. Yep, 1 morale check. So I need 6 or less to pass. Breaks. He's broken, he prep fired. Then I'll be damned if I don't uh, fire, uh, fire this fire group at him. So that's 12 plus four is, is uh, uh, 14, no, 12 plus four is 16. What am I saying? 16 up three. Uh, minus two for the leadership DRM, plus two for the hindrances, and plus three for the building. Net up three, 16 up three, 15. That's uh, another eight on the 16 table this time. No eight. That's another one MC, so I got a little six or less. And he made it. He's a tough dude. All right, so he prep fired. All right. This fellow here, he needs to take out Hube. Hube moved a little bit further from him. Let's take a line of sight check and see if we can take out Hube. So there's one hindrance, range is nine, 
and we have a minus one leadership DRM. Uh, so we got a four and a three is a seven, makes it a six, six up three against Hube. That's a complete miss and no rake. Okay. Let's go to movement. So here we'll assault move into the woods. Here we'll assault move into the wooden building. We're not overstacked. We're good. We're legal. Now, think about this for a moment. I have a half squad, and he can go CX246. If I bring him here, and he now, he now sees this unit there, can he route to there? So. From here to there, again, we're at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and to there, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this fellow here can route to there, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. He's not getting any closer to there. But already, I am kind of dictating to which direction he'll be going. And nobody can impede me from moving there. So that's, that's a good idea. So that half squad is going to go CX double time. Two, four, six, right there. And unfortunately, we can't recombine in this uh, in this game. Another half squad will go. Uh, Two, four, six double time. And the leader um, with the three half squads is going to go double time as well. And they're going to go two, three, four, five, six. And seven eight, we won't risk it for the biscuit because this guy might have a line of sight check to there. This guy definitely doesn't have a line of sight there. But there is a method to our madness. So he's trying to flank the rear of that uh, sector. All right, I think we moved everybody we wanted to move. So let's go to the defensive fire. Um, we'll do a four up two there. So we got seven on the two. It's probably a 10 pin fast check. No missed. Oh, four, 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 seven on the four. It is a pin fast check. Test track, he pins, not that it matters. He final fired. Um, let's do a four up three. We've got nothing to lose. Holy cow, he just broke his inherited firepower. So he final fired. Uh, this dude here, here to there, it ain't worth it. Is that a wooden building? Yeah, a four up four. What's the worst that can happen? Need a three. Oh, let's do it. Four up, uh, four up four. Nope. 
final fire. Now, the reason why I said four up forward, the worst that can happen is if if I roll snake eyes, he will cower to the two table. Uh, and then if I add four, the best I can muster is a PTC. Um, and if I roll the three, plus four makes it a five, uh, plus four makes it a six, uh, on the four table it would be a normal morale check. All right. Okay. Hube will return the favor far back to there. Let's see how this fares. So there's still one residual, uh, one hindrance there. So, and it's a range of nine. So the squad can still fire. The machine gun is at full firepower at seven plus two is nine. We'll go down to the eight table and plus three for the stone building. Eight plus three is nine, 10, 11. That's off the charts and no rate. So he final fire. Again, this guy has nothing to lose. Uh, he can try and, and do a line of sight check, but it, he risks getting it cut off with the wood. So we'll try and DM this fellow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Everybody's halved. Uh, and then it's an up three, four. Um, again, that's a, a lousy shot. So he'll try and, and see if he has line of sight to there. He does it. He fires in any case. There you go. That's my um, fire, defensive fire, advancing fire. I think the only decent shot I have is these, this unit here and that unit here, they have assault fire. So they're actually four plus four is eight. Uh, but it, they're halved because they're firing the advancing fire phase. So that would be a four up, a heck of a lot of modifiers. Three plus three, six, that's not worth it. I'm gonna roll it because I, 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 I uh, did the line of sight check um, and they advanced, fired. That's simply a formality. And since he fired there, this unit here should have been DM'd. That. So let's go to route phase. So remove the moves, prep, and death fire. Put everybody up. That's that's pretty good. Uh, route phase. He can stay where he is. This fellow can route back to that leader. That's what we kept him there for. Okay. Not that he needs to. He could try and self rally there, but hoo hurrah, hoo hurrah. All right. Advance phase. Americans advance. This guy should have lost his CX. And he'll advance into Baker. Baker's X. These boys, what they're going to do is this fellow is going to advance there. This fellow with the MMG is going to advance to there. Uh, this fellow, this squad is going to advance to there. And the leader will stay where he is. So if anybody gets a really bad roll or anybody suffers a morale check, they can roll back to there. These fellows are going to get in here and take that position. Only one CX uh, counter is required. And then these fellows here will actually move to there. Let's take a zip of uh, Red Rose Tea, guys. Uh, both red, uh, left-handed and right-handed. 55 minutes, but uh, who gives a flying flamingo? Rug phase. No, that was advanced phase. All right. Our advanced phase is over. Close combat, none. Let's remove all moves. Uh, and let's remove all pins. And take out another picture.
So we're on to turn 2B for the Germans. And the Germans will come on board. It's kind of obvious where you got to put them on board, I think. Yeah. And I kind of like to uh, stack them in the order that they arrive. So we got one, two, there, three. And here comes in last with the heavy. All righty. We placed where our reinforcements will arrive. This is axis turn two. Rally phase. So we got a broken unit here that did not even large as far as I know. Uh, ordinarily it would be uh, three, um, but he's in rally terrain, so that makes it a four. And I have to add the plus one for the leadership DRM uh, because it's the leader that's in the ra rally and he has a positive uh, leadership DRM, so it's back to a three. But it's better than sacrificing a self rally. So rally. Nope, oh, but the DM comes off. And over here, uh, the American player cannot self-rally, but uh, this unit here, under Tyler, I believe. Yep. Uh, ordinarily, ordinarily, since he's under DM, it's a 4, 5 for the terrain, and 6 for the leadership DRM of minus 1. See if we can get six or less. He does it. He's back up. And the DM goes away. Now that fire group is something to talk about. Alrighty then. Um, German rally phase is over. Let's do some prep fire. Uh, two obvious shots, here to there, here to there. Let's do this one first, and then here to there. Let's not leave him uh, on uh, this. All right, let's move it. All right, here to there. I believe it's a range of nine. One hundredths, yep. Heavy is at full firepower, squad is halved, 7 plus 2 is 9, close to the 8 table, plus 1 for the leadership DRM, minus 1 for the leadership DRM, plus 1 for the hindrance, plus 3 for the uh, terrain effects modifier for the stone building. Net uh, uh, up 3, 8 up 3, let's do it. Whoa, 6 and right. So 6 on the 8 table, I believe is 1 morale check. Yep, and right. So the leader needs an eight. Makes it. Now, he said it was a one morale check, right? Six on the eight. Yep. So now it's a normal for the other two squads. I need two sixes. Top to bottom. Makes it. Breaks. Of all the units that had to break. Break, break. And it was an 8. He's good. Didn't roll over a 9. We did get rate. So with the rate, it would be a 6, up 3. Let's do it again. A 9 is now, uh, no, uh, 9 on the 6 table. It's probably nothing. That is correct, but we do have rate again. And do we want to risk it for the biscuit? Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Let's roll again. Whoa! 
uh, a six on the six is another one morale check and rate. One morale check and rate. Okay, so the leader needs an eight. Pins. Now the um, good squad needs a five. Breaks and ELRs. ELRs and breaks, actually. And uh, we need a seven for the broken unit. He passes. So the leader now is pinned. And we did get right. Yep, so we roll again. Same, same thing, same deal. And that's nothing. But guess what? I still have right. Let's do it. Uh, 7 plus 3 is 9 on the 6th table, nothing. Let's do it again. Nothing. And that's the end of the rate. Uh, now, 6 plus 3 is 9. 9 on the 6th table is a miss. And finally, that machine gun rat out of ammunition. So he prep fired. And this guy is in trouble. <laughs> All right. Let's roll a six up three there. Nope, they cowered as well. Now what do we do? What do we do? All right, now let's go to movement. Now, I'm tempted to take this squad, go double time, da dash across this the, 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 the road into the open ground and try to become adjacent to them. And that would probably have to, um, I would probably have, have them low crawling to here and really put him in, in jeopardy but this squad will have to endure fire from here which is not bad but from here uh, he's covering he's covering this this line of fire here and it's one two three four five six this is an open ground hex and he would have to go one two um, one, two, uh, three and a half, four, which would seriously jeopardize his chances of survival. Um, and alternatively, he could just hold the defense and stay there. Uh, I didn't fire this dude because I was planning to move him here. So I'll do that and skulk back to here. So now, and I didn't do my stupid audacious move between here and there or whatnot. So now I can just say defensive fire. And let's see what happens. I think ultimately this guy does have, this fire group does have on a site there. Let's double check it. And no, he doesn't. I keep messing up on that one. Or in any case, geez, that was bad. And here I might have a shot to there, and I might have a shot from here to there. All right, so we'll do this to there. Let's take a line of sight check. All right, so that's a six uh, up four. One for the hindrance, three for the ten, six firepower factors. Nope. Now I can try and see if I have line of sight from here to there, but I doubt it, and I'm not going to risk that. And the other thing about doing a line of sight check is that uh, the old saying goes, sauce for the goose, sauce for the uh, gander. 
And if you give away the fact that he may have line of sight to there, he'll fire back and annihilate you in another turn. So I'm not going to take the line of sight. Um, what happened to him is a pure tragedy. Can't move this guy anymore. Uh, doing this shot here is futile. Here, a six up four. Ah, what the heck, let's do it. Nine and six is a miss. Miss by one. Not much. And let's see if we have line of sight from here to there. No, we'll take the shot if we do. Nope. Yeah, look at that. Clear line of sight. Range of four. Range of four. They have a range of four. So they have three, six, nine. That uh, falls down to the eight table. Plus three. That's a good shot. Whoa! Three and three makes six. Six on the A table is a one morale check. Now, check this out. How did I get six? Right? It's a range of four, so it's full firepower for all three squads. Three, six, nine. It goes down to the A table in your chart. I'm using a rat chart. It's pretty much the infantry fire table is pretty much the same thing. Plus one for being CX. Minus one for the leadership DRM, they cancel each other out, plus three for the 10. So, we roll the six on the eight table, that's a one morale check. They have to roll six or less. They pin, darn it. They just pin. So we know we got the beat on, which is pretty good. It's pretty good. They can't move, and next turn, it's our turn, We'll prep fire and try to break them. Because, because why not? Like my son used to like to say at one point or another. So let's go on to advancing fire. And in terms of advancing fire, I don't have much. Okay. So at this point in this juncture, what will we do is go to road phase and remove all the moves, remove all the prep, remove all the death fire. Now, I could conceivably try to route this guy, this stock, but if they can't because they would have to route without the leader, the leader's pinned, which it's not a good idea, and he doesn't have to out because he is in rally terrain already. He didn't break in open ground. So I'll just leave him there and hope somebody will rally next turn. Um, nobody else uh, broke, so that's the end of the rally, uh, route phase. Let's go to advance. What we're going to do is we're going to advance this unit to here. We're going to advance this unit to there. Hopefully he'll rally and move up to there. We'll see. And that's it. Um, actually, he'll advance to here. Oh, God. Oh, well. He can keep him DM, and so can he, if he doesn't end up eliminated. Hmm. Let's just say, checking to see if these units are assault engineers. Usually, assault engineers and um, starter kit are designated by SSR. They, they give you an extra two exponent points, uh, smoke exponent points. Let's save that turn to B. All fine and dandy so far. Let's remove all moves and all pins. And the counters, for example, here you got a pin marker. 
it's red. That tells you that it turned that uh, uh, kind of hints at the turn marker what uh, which turn it becomes uh, an action. So red is in close combat, purple is in defensive first fire, blue is rally. That's why the DMs are associated with the rally phase more or less. It's a visual clue. So in terms of now it is American turn three and uh, time is running out. And that's, I guess, why um, the Americans like to try and uh, move into the village. It's because um, the best way, I guess, people find it to eliminate units is instead of firing, it's to advance. Uh, of course, using mobility can also help and fire groups. Oh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So let's go to rally. We'll do a self rally here. We did seven, did not get it. Now here, uh, what we need is one unit is a three, four, five. The other unit is a six. So five and six, I believe. Ah, the MG pops up. And this guy loses the DM. These guys are in good order. So, uh, Raleigh's here. It means a plain old seven, because the plus one leader has to apply his leadership DRM. Plus one uh, for the um, for the um, terrain, but plus one to your dice roll because the leader has a positive DRM. So let's rally in a seven or less. Oh, he does not. Okay. That doesn't help matters. RED then. So let's do some prep firing. Instead of trying to take Cuban, he'll fire there. And um, at this juncture, it's a range of five, and there's no uh, hindrances, so we have uh, eight up two. That's a pretty good roll. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six on the eight table is, I believe, a one morale check. Yep. So he needs six or less. And he breaks. Now, unfortunately, unfortunately, We did not get right. So he for prep fire. Now things have changed a little bit. And what I, I like now is the prospect that I don't have to use smoke to advance into the village. So that is pretty good. And I'm pretty sure he doesn't have line of sight to me. He doesn't. This guy didn't rally. And the only guy that can make really a difference is this fellow here. And we're going to try and break him from here. So that is another eight up three, plus two for the hindrances, and plus three for the ten, minus two for the leadership DRM. So let's do an eight up three. Look, I got right, leader directed. So uh, that's seven plus three is ten, missed by one. But we have right, so the L MMG is a four firepower factors, right, so four up three now. And we don't cower, so that's good. Nope, no more rate. And well, that was really ineffective. Uh, so he prep fired. And here to there. Really, these guys should be moving. 
But the reason why I moved this fellow here is to try and, and knock him out while he's moving. So he'll prep fire instead. And it'll be another uh, eight up, eight up three because I'm CX. Mm, that's nothing, unfortunately. So he prep fired. These guys are not going to prep fire. I think these guys are going to form a fire group and fire on Hube. All right, so let's see if we have line of sight. All right, so there's two hindrances in the way. Here you go. So there'll be 12 plus 4, 16, up, up 5. 11 on the 16 table. TTC, 8. And the other guy passed too because we're using the leadership DRM. So that was ineffective. And they prep barred. That's all she wrote. Let's go to movement. And I know you, you shouldn't move by a, in, a, in a stack, but um, we had our assault move to there. Or do non-assault movement. Let's do non-assault movement. So one, two, three to there, he'll fire an eight up two shot. Uh, well, that's nothing. So he first fired. Now I can do a four up two. And we'll do that. And fire twice because I used two movement points to get in there, and that leaves four residuals in there. So let's do uh, the four up two. Out oh, and powers, and it's off the table. So, uh, final fire. And then these fellows are going to assault move to there. Now this fellow final fired. They're going to lose their CX and assault move to here. This fellow is going to move one to there. Only cow. I have a shot. Let's see if I have a shot. Yep. Now that's a six down two, non assault movement. Let's see what happens. Seven. Uh, it goes down to a five and six table, which is a one morale check. MC. No rate. EORs and breaks. And there is two residuals there. And he first fired. Oh, that was dumb of me. Could have gone this way. That way. This way. I don't think that would have made a difference, but we're learning here, so let's see. If I had gone that way, it still would have been clear. And here, it would have been cover. So in these two hexes, I was really at a disadvantage. So let's see what we got here now. I think that the movement phase is now over. So let's go to the defensive fire. 
And at this juncture, that CX comes off as well. Uh, oh yeah, let's fire from here to there. Now, if I fire from here to there, it's all alright because I have a minus one leadership DRN. Two hindrances, one goes down due to the leadership DRN. I was a range of uh, seven. So I got seven firepower for the heavy and two for the uh, inherent firepower of the squad for long range. That's nine, eight up, one. Let's fire there. Eight, nine. That's a pin task check. No pins. Bummer. So he final fired. Hmm. All right, let's go to advancing fire. A two up three. Huh. Huh. Six out of two table. It's a pentash check. Tash check. Holy cow, he pins. You know what that means. We're going to have close combat. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. All right. So he advanced fired. Can he fire at anybody? I don't think so. It's it's usually it's my eight old leaders and the leaders without a DRM that are leading the assault charge. I have no reason why. Actually, the leaders with the negative two, the negative modifier should be spearheading the attack. But anywho. All right, let's go to route. Uh, let's remove all moves. Let's remove all prep and death fire and residuals. We should have been gone a long time ago. All right. So route phase. Um, this fellow cannot route to here. And if he routes low cross there, uh, he'll be getting closer to him. So let's take a look at that. Uh, this is one, two, three, four, and he is at one, two, three, four, five. And he cannot low crawl to there as well. So this guy is our first casualty, I believe, for failure to rut. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> let's unbreak him and put him in the casualty bin. One more DM. This fellow can route to, not route to there, but he has to route to there, into the woods. Okay. Alrighty then. Now this guy's in a pretty precarious situation, but Hube here, oh, jeez, I forgot to move these guys on board. Oh, I was focused on the action here. I kind of forgot. Oh, well. Uh, advanced phase. Whose turn is it anyways? It's American turn. Too late. I guess they'll have to move in uh, next turn. What a bummer. What a real bummer. Now what do we do? It's American turn three. 
We went the whole turn, completely forgot about these dudes. Live and learn. Oh well, on to advance. Boom. Boom to there. That guy's pinned. This guy's good where he is. This fellow's good where he is. I don't remember anybody firing on him, so he's good to go. So we have a close combat there. And that unit is uh, pinned, so he gets um, plus one to this dice roll, and everything's normal for mine, I believe. All right, so American rules for ambush first. Was a five Germans. Five. It's plus one because he's pinned. So now they defend at full firepower, but attack at half. So I got three. I got three. Attack factors. He has four. I got a one to two. He has a. Uh, he has a. I want to two. We each have one to two at this point. So I want to two, whoever rolls a four or less first. Americans, nothing. We're locked in out. LA. All right. Let's remove. All pins. Save the turn. And let's roll it to German turn three. And this time, hopefully, we'll not forget to bring in our reinforcements. But before we get to our reinforcements, let's do a rally here. Some or less. He makes it, which is a big bummer. Okay. And then here we need uh, nine or less. One for the t seven, base seven, plus one for the terrain, minus one for the leadership DRM. And he made it, but now I think that guy is a half squad. Or, yep, yep, okay. And this is German turn three, rally phase. We did rally. We have our squads there. We won't forget to bring them on. So let's prep fire. So he'll try and take out the MMG here as well. So it's uh, plus one, minus one, plus one for the hindrance, minus one for the leadership diagram, plus one for there. This guy loses the M. So it's a total of, let's see, range of seven, two hindrances. So seven for the heavy, two for the inherent firepower of the squad. Makes it a nine, goes down to the eight table, eight up one. Let's do it. Nine, ten, and no rate. Kesarasara. So he prep fired. He'll fire a, a six up one that way. Whoa, that and uh, is right. So we've got four, five, five, five on the six table and rate. That's a one morale check. Do the first. Eight, nine breaks. Now each squad needs a five times three. One breaks, does not alarm. Two makes it. Three ELRs and breaks.
So the top squad also broke. Oh, I, I, yeah, the, the leader, first I did the leader, now this guy broke as well, but didn't know why. So we got one good squad there. He has rape. So it would be a dummy not to take a 2-up-1. Let's do the 2-up-1. No rape. That's a 6 on the 2 table. Which is a PTC. And I forgot to do a pin task check for that uh, surviving squad. So it's 2 task checks. Uh, pins in any case. Uh, the leader had an 8 morale, he had a 6, he broke, he needed to do a leader, a leader uh, lost task check. That other squad pins. But I can voluntarily route them. Hmm. Uh, after all is said and done, for better or for worse, um, Delaying those units was not such a bad idea. And now, he fired, he fired. Whoa. That was my Discord. Sorry, guys. Uh, it's all live here, more or less. Semi-live. Yeah. One take. That's it. Uh, no editing, so um, keep prep fired. That's what I wanted to do. Alrighty, keep prep fired. Hmm. What do we do there? And here. Four up five. Not possibly um, do anything or DM this guy for that matter. Um, so, in this case, are there a four up two cowers six on the two table is just a pin task check, we'll take it and he passes. So, he prep fired. Um, Let's go on to movement. So I like the fact that that squad is where he is. He's not going to the, go into the melee X, although uh, the odds of winning would greatly increase because if they win the uh, uh, close combat, they'll face 12 up three shot afterwards. Yep. So here, now we got to go CX, uh, at least with one unit. And he might have the beat on us right there. But it's worth the risk. And I'll tell you why. Is because these guys can now possibly run forward and get to the rear. So it was a bit of a godsend getting um, broken here. Um, yeah. So actually... Um, the best location would be here, so it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, and then they can't route forward. So I think the um, the reward is worth the risk. So they'll do double time: one, two, three, and now this fellow wants to uh, negate or stop him from moving into I four. So he'll take a shot. Let's draw the line of sight, clean line of sight, only one hindrance. Let's level the board here. There's only one hindrance, and it was a range of 13. Um, so the squads cannot fire, and the MMG is halved. So it's minus one for non-assault movement, plus one for the hindrance, 
minus 1 for the leader. So that's a net minus 1. Uh, so 2 down 1. Let's do it. 2 down 1. 4 on the 2 table. 4 on the 2 table is a 1 morale check and rate, but we can only fire once because you only expend one moving points to, to move in there. So two down one. Oh, one more I'll check. He needs a six or less. Whoa, he broke. He broke. We cannot leave any residual and um, we cannot leave any residual. Um, we'll leave the inherent firepower as is. Uh, and we can't leave any residual because it would only be a one residual and the 100s would cancel it out and in any case we can't break. Good. So that idea might not be a good idea as I thought, but let's try it again. That's double time. We have another squad to spare. Double time. One. Two, three, two down one. Shit. Excuse my language. So, um, that's right. And a five on the two table. Normal morale check. Normal morale check. He breaks. Ah, great. Oh boy, we're going to take it easy. Uh, one, two, three, and four, five there. And he's not going to take a shot because we got this guy that possibly can move there, but we won't. So one, two, three, four to there. Um, And this fellow has to route first, cannot route to there. And so far, these guys, these are not known units. Hmm. Well, that's movement. Let's call defensive fire. Now this fellow got great. He fired Schultz. He didn't fire his inherent firepower. Let's be fair. Two hindrances. A range of 10. The MG is uh, 10. Um, a squad, the, the uh, level 2 squad cannot fire. So uh, that's a 4. And a 3 is a 7, it would be a 6. 6 up 4. Plus 2 hindrances, plus 3 is 5. Minus 1 for the DRM. Oh, that's a complete nothing. So you find a fired. Uh, we'll have a, a 6 up 3 there. Nothing. And then Rogers is going to fire back to there. Let's see what the heck is going on. Good old Rogers. Uh, we got three hindrances. Uh, three hindrances, range of eight, and a 310. A minus two leader. So three hindrances, minus two. It's a up four, a net up four shot. Um, and then four plus three is seven, six up four. Let's see. Nothing. So he final fired. Whoops. And then we have a 16, I believe 16 up three. That's why I moved those guys up. So let's see what happens there. A 16 up three, no up four. 
So, and right, but I don't think I want to take the right shot. So, we got 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 on the 16 table. There's a 2 morale check. That looks promising. 2 morale check. Cube means a 6 or less. He breaks. Five or less for the squad. Uh, I think he breaks an ELRs. ELR is three. Yep. And breaks. Oh, it's a good thing Shaw shoots uh, has uh, come in where when he did. So he final fired. Let's fire again. Oh, we did fire again. All right, so they, they final fired. Um, this is not worth taking it off. Let's go to the advancing fire. We'll try to fire from here. There. Is it worth it? No. Let's fire him to there. That ain't worth it either. Just not worth it. They're no longer CX because they're broken. Okay. Let's go to out base. And the German player has to out first. So I'll prep. Let's be diligent. And these fellows will probably go back to the woods here. They can route here because they're getting closer to these guys. All right, uh, first unit routes one to there, two, three to there. Routing here is counterproductive, I find. Um, but it could be something. Let's route to there and put this guy there as well. Now these guys can route forward. They can't see this guy. They can't see this guy. They might be able to see this guy. So let's take a look at that and see. Nope. All right, so two to there. Do they see a unit here? Two to there, and now they see this guy, and they got to stop. So there goes my big idea about routing. Two. And if they stay there, they'll get annihilated or kept kept at the end. So back to there. Now that they see that that dude. All right. Oh geez. And this guy can stay where he is. Yeah, because he's not broken in open ground. All righty. Let's go to advance phase. Advance phase. All right, let's do a do -si do because these guys might want to advance this way. So we'll do a do -si do which means just switching positions uh, to get a tactical advantage. And the tactical advantage is probably I have line of sight to there and here. Also impede the... Uh, um, American player from um, advancing. Um, I have two turns left. I don't want to advance into close combat. I want to preserve my firepower. So let's go on to close combat. And now, since the pins are removed, um, 
the American has a 1 to 2 and the German has a 1 to 1. So on the 1 to 1, I believe it's a 5 or less. Yep. So let's see what happens. Uh, German player fires first. Boom. Oh, man. Check that out. And it's simultaneous still. 1 to 2. Uh, close combat. Oh, man. That would be infiltration in the advanced game. Oh, man. So delete that, and he goes into the casualty bin. I like casualty bin. Geez, if the roles were reversed, uh, the half squad would have been alive, and the full squad would have been dead. Um, Okie dokie. So that was uh, turn um, turn three B. The German reinforcements came in late because of absent-minded George. File save game as uh, Esau. then let's go on to uh, American turn four so this is where it gets a little bit dicey for my rally phase everybody here is rally we'll try and rally him some or less finally mix it so we could have tried to rally this guy but we didn't Oh well. Uh, these guys are all up and at him. Here, I need a four or less. Nope, the M comes off. Uh, the pin should have came off as well. Uh, the M's come off here. There was no movement. And here, I need a four or less. Nope, the M comes off. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do this is as follows. This is how everything will unfold. Rally phase is over. Prep fire. Take the most important shot first, which is this one here to there. That is a eight, an eight up three. Pretty good. We don't have right, but it is a four plus three, seven. So I think it's a one more I'll check on the A table. Yeah, one more I'll check. So he needs a six or less. Squad G. Oh, he makes it. What a beep. <clears throat> so he prep fired. Oh, good that did. Twenty-four up three. There goes nothing. Oh boy. That ain't good. They're going to try and, um, and um, DM him and keep his head down. Or maybe what they're going to do is are there. So let's do that and we'll DM him at six. Six up four. Six up four. There is a possibility of DM there. Okay. RT. The cower to a four. But still enough to DM him, I think. Yeah. So they prep hard. 
They're under a DM worker. We really need to uh, break that squad here. All right, we got a... A poor shot. Let's put it that way. So let's let's stick to movement. I think big mistake here. Americans must move. Period. Get in, in get in as close as possible. <laughs> Forget trying to flank. All right. All right. CX. Boom. Let's move it to movement phase. Turn back. Movement phase. Yep. One more shot, sorry. One more shot. Here to there. Let's just roll and figure out the map later. So that was, uh, let's see, eight, ten. What do we got there? All right, so five, uh, ten, fifteen, goes down to the twelve, a twelve, two, three, five, a twelve up four. And we rolled a six, so it's ten. 10 on the 12 table. That's just a PTC. And he pins. That's fine. I'll, I'll deal with that. Okay. Now we can move. All right. All right, let's see what happens here. One and a half, two and a half. And three and a half. So he'll take a shot to there. Uh, so it, he's halved and doubled. So it's a four down two. Three and a four. Uh, two more out check. Breaks, but that's not your. He first fired. Okay. The other fellow is going to go CX here. One, two, three, four, five. This guy cannot fire. That guy could have fired there. So I, let's say I went one, two, three, four, five. All right. Okay. This squad is going to go double time. Two, four, and six. Okay. He will assault move to there, and he will assault move to there. Yep, that's assault move. Um, yep. All right. Let's go to defensive fire, and he'll do an eight up three shot. Nothing. And he'll do a four even shot. Uh, six on the four. Normal. Pins. Well, did the best I could. Let's call. Yeah, that, that guy was a uh, final part as well. Okay, let's call advancing fire. So with advancing fire, these two guys have, uh, uh, they do have a self fire. So this fellow is a four. This guy's a three. So they got a six up, four shot. Where's the good rolls when you need them? <laughs> okay.
let's call road phase. He will need to roll crawl to here. Now let's remove our prep def moves. So you'll go there. He will hold his position and hopefully rally. Um, this guy can stay where he is, and this fellow can stay where he is. This guy's pinned. This guy's CX. Let's go to advanced phase. And our brave uh, Lieutenant Baker is going to advance into close combat there. This fellow is going to go here. This fellow is going to go here. This fellow is going to go is he going to go there or there? There. That's where he's going to go. These guys are going to stay where they are. Uh, these fellows are going to stay where they are as well. Hmm. So let's go turn it to close combat. We have a close combat there. We roll for ambush. And guess who's ambushed? The Americans. So, um, what the uh, German squad is going to do is he, he will only attack one squad, and that will be the squad guarding the leader. So, that will be a 7 to 4, which is a 1 to 2 attack, uh, minus 1. So, a 1 to 2 attack, minus 1, means a 5 or less. Let's see what happens. House close. Now the Americans have 13 to 4, which is a 3 to 1, uh, plus 1 because they were ambushed. So now they need a 7 or less. Boom! They got it. Axis. There you go. No longer in melee. Uh, delete, delete all moves, and we can delete all pins. All right, so this was American turn four. One more turn left. Let's save it. So we're now at a German turn four. And it's rally phase. We have one soft rally. We'll try and rally one in it here. Need seven or less. Makes it. That's a bummer. And here, we need four or less. Nope. And this guy loses. He doesn't lose his DM. All right. Um, so that's the way the cookie crumbles, and let's do our attack. Let's go to prep fire. So he will attack at eight up three. Let's do it. Um, so that's a 7 plus 3 is 10, so they missed, and they prep fired. Should I have sculpt to here? No, nah, not really. Um, then here, 6 up 3. Yep. 8 on the 6. There's a pentash check, two 6s. One guy pins. One unit pins, they prep fired. Who's he going to fire at? Nobody, I guess. Okay. So. Nah. He's not going to fire at anybody. 
Let's go to movement. He will assault move to there. So he's going to fire at 6, up 2. Nothing. And he can fire a second time because uh, he expended two move points to get in there. So that would be a 2 up 2. Nothing. And he covered. Okay. Uh, with a 6 up 2 shot, I had two residuals in there. Not that it will matter. But... Okay. He's under DM. And we're going to try and keep him that way. Um, he will assault move to there. And this guy will just hold his position. Let's call defensive fire. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take a 24 up 3 shot. And that's 5 plus 3 is 8 on the 24, which is a 2 morale check, leader first. Breaks. Uh, does he EOR? I think it was a 2 morale check that we rolled, right? A 5. Uh, three, eight, I mean, twenty-four. Yep. And uh, the ELR is ELR is three, and uh, more than three. No, no, no. It's exactly nine. So he's good. We're broken. Uh, and uh, the squad needs a a five, and he broke. And EOR as well. Hmm. EOR is 3. So they EOR and broke. Uh, turn that back. EOR. Okay, so they uh, final fired. Tyler is going to try and do something to these bullies. So we got range of nine, I believe. No, range of ten. So uh, a five or six cannot fire there, so he won't. Okay. Put him above the counter. Uh, so we got uh, four and three, seven, six, six up three, I believe. There's only one hindrance, two hindrances, six up four. Yeah. Eight, ten, and six, which is a complete miss and no rate. Um, why did I even save this guy? How's he going to fire there? Like four up five? Ain't gonna happen. And then this fellow here, he has three. One, two, three, four. And one and a half, so that's a four up four. Can I even even let you arm with a four up four? Yeah. Five team. There you go. Three plus four is seven on the four, which is a pentastric, it's just the end of. Oh boy. And he found a part. Can remove all residuals at this point and then this these guys are going to fire group actually why fire group let's do a let's do what are we going to do we're going to do as follows we're going to fire at eight up three Bam! You know that three could have been used to break these guys. Frustrating. Frustrating. 
All right, let's see if Ronald has a line of sight to there. He does, with one, only one hindrance. So, so with one hindrance and a minus two modifier, that kind of changes things. Now we have an eight up two. Eight on the eight is a normal morale check and no rate. Bang! The EOR and break. Oh, uh, unbreak him. And break him. All the units in the in in the victory area are not good order. Not so bad, Americans. Let's go to advancing fire. Four up one. Nothing. And here, a four up four. I ain't worth it. You never know. Nothing. These dudes that ain't gonna happen. Now let's go to road phase. Now conceivably if I had an American unit here, here, or here, or maybe even here. This guy would not have been able to route back. Um, and that would have been eliminated them. This fellow here can low crawl to there. Um, but he's in dire straits. As a matter of fact, he might even be able to um, just route all the way back to here. If there's no hindrance in the way, um, because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that MG can interdict if there's no hindrances in the way of these two hexes. Um, please. Yep, yeah, so let's remove all the moves, let's remove all the prep, residuals, and death fire. All right, so he can hold his position here, uh, or he can route back to there. Uh, so I think I'll run him back to there because uh, because I want to preserve him. I don't I, w I don't want him to be DM'd again. Um, he can route to one, two, three to there. Um, Again, I just uh, I might be giving up position, but next turn he'll have uh, the opportunity to uh, fire and keep me DM or even move adjacent to me. So that's that. Um, should I move back to the leader? I don't see why not. So uh, let's put the leader on top and lose one DM counter. Where there's a will, there's hope. Now, the big question is, where can he route? Can he route to there without being interdicted? I'm thinking if he routes to there, there might be this in, in, in the way. Um, and here to there, it's probably cut off by the edge of that building. Should we risk it for the biscuit? Let's do it. One to there. And let's see if it is. Oop, can't be interdicted because we have a hindrance there. Does he have line of sight to there? No. And 
Boom. Only one problem. He can't get closer to this unit, and he probably sees him from there. And, yeah. So, yeah, he sees him. He's getting closer to a known enemy unit. It is, uh, it's not good order, but he, it's not a valid route location. This is a valid route location. He can't see these guys. Um, and you can see him, but he's really getting not any further or any closer. And he won't have to take a 24 up attack next time if he doesn't rally. Oh well. And this guy can now rally one and a half, two, three and a half to there. All right. Advance phase. And it's German advance. So let's remove all the moves. He'll advance into close combat with them. Because why not? And uh, really, that's all the advancing I have. Um, I could conceivably move a squad here and there uh, because it'll be in the victory location, and uh, all I have to do is advance into the into it uh, and the last player turn, and I'll have a a stone building location and let's go all out let's go all out because this guy trying to get into back into the village will not be conceivable when will he rally what will happen to him let's see what happens all right so this was 4B. We go to the last player turn for the Americans. So let's remove all moves. Let's remove all pins. And let's not forget close combat over here. All right. Um, plus one for because this guy's CX. So German rolls first. Rolls a six. American rolls a four. So there's no ambush. So we have a 4 to 3, so a 1 to 2 and a 1 to 1. 1 to 1 for the German. Doesn't make it. Uh, 1 to 2 plus 1 for the American. Doesn't make it. They walk the melee. Flip. There you go. Okay. Let's save it now. So we're back with the, Ameri the final American turn. This is the make it or break it rule, or make it or break it um, turn. Um, so who are we going to self-rally? We're going to try and self-rally this guy for seven or less. Doesn't make it. He loses the M. Doesn't really matter. Uh, and he'll try to rally at eight or less makes it, kudos to him, and then uh, we need 9 and 8 in that order, uh, rally, makes it, and doesn't make it, so we got a lonely half squad that has not a yard, um, alright, and who else is broken? This guy's broken. All right, leader needs snake eyes. Let's not get it. There, DM comes off. I got a leader there that needs a four or less. Makes it. Check that out. This is this is you know, pure luck. Okay, and then uh, the squad below. So three, four, five, two fives. And they don't rally. And now I'm really chicken. 
I'm chickening out. Well, he is not in a position to exert too much firepower on me. Um, he is in my way, so I got a shot. I got a shot. I got a bit of a shot. Darn it. Cube is not in a position to do deadly. I don't think. Alrighty. Maybe I should not have. Never mind. All right, let's do rally. Let's go to prep. Let's see my genius move here. What happened here? So let's prep fire. That dude, but not the half squad. All right. We're not the five four six. So we got an eight eight firepower factors here. We're gonna try and knock him out. So, uh, line of sight, one hindrance, and it's a range of 10. So, uh, it is four for the uh, MMG, three for the squad. It's a six even attack. Let's see what happens there. Seven on a six is, I believe, a normal morale check. So I need, I need an 8 and a 7. Passes. Passes. And I did not get rate. That's not good. He uh, preferred. I already preferred. Okay. They're going to move. He's going to move. He's going to move. He's going to move. That guy is probably going to move. Let's see how things will unfold. Okay, let's go to movement. Here comes the big push. All right, so we got movement coming on. I pick up that squad. There we go, double time. One, two, three, four, five. Holding his fire. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Who's the CX? Can't go CX again. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two. He might have a shot. And he might have a shot. Well, he has a shot, for sure. Should I do a six down two? No, hold the fire. How about him? Now him, I like the fact that he may be able to fire. So let's do it. Let's draw a line of sight. 
I think it's good. So that is a four down two. Let's do that. Four and a four. So one more I'll check. I need a five or less. Actually, four or less. He rolls a six. Breaks. That does not allow. He first fired. And he rolled a four, so there's two residuals there. I think. This kind of sucks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So Charles is going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. DMs everybody underneath that stack. Who's going to fire at him? Nobody. He grabs a heavy as well, possibly. All right, one, two, three, four to there. That going CX. One, two, two, three, and four. So we're going to take a Infantry, uh, not first fire, first fire, air firepower only, nah, support weapon, leader directed, and that's a four, down one. Kept right, six on the four. So, for all intents and purposes, he didn't first fire. Uh, six on the four is a normal. He passes. He's a brave soul. Jeez. And since I kept right, I don't have any residuals there. One, two, three. Four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We go CX. What good is that going to do? One, two. Is he going to fire? Oops, put that back. Is he going to fire there? It's very close. He's going to hold his fire. Or to there. Interesting. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Mm -mm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. That ain't good. Oh. And then here it's one, two, three, four. Or one, two, three, four, five through there. Risk it for the biscuit. One, two, uh, going, yeah, two, 
three, four down two, five on the four, five on the four, so one MC. Ooh, heel R's and breaks. Nearly uh, half squatted. Heel R and breaks. He first fired and moves two residuals there. The residuals here. Now we're in a bit of a pickle. One, two. Three, four, five, six. That's what he's going to do. So one, two, one, two, three. Let's see if he has line of sight. Either directed M and G. He doesn't. As far as the MMG, no rate. So now he fired the first fire as a support weapon. So one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five to there. So what are we going to do now? One, two, three, four, five. As much as I hate going CX, uh, what choice do we have? What choice do we have? Let's go CX. Uh, with three protash points and a multi-man counter, Let's take a look at our chart and see how far this guy can travel. CX multi-man counter with three protash points is a five. That's the maximum you can go. And we will go one, two, three, four, five. That's all he needs to do is go there. Much as I hate to do that. One, two, three, four. Five, one unit is not CX, the other is. One and a half, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, six and a half, seven, eight and a half. That's not good. So one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, six and a half. So at what point does this guy have line of sight to him? He has to go CX. And with a leader and three protash points and a SMC and an MMC, they have four protash points and CX MMC. Uh, they can go six. So it's one and a half, there's no point. Let's see, three portage points, CX, oh, they can go uh, seven actually, they can go seven, so that's one and a half, Two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, six and a half. All right. And at what point does this guy have line of sight to them? One and a half. We'll find out. One and a half. Two and a half. Three and a half. Four and a half. Five and a half. Do, have, do they have line of sight? No. They got a fire. 
Well, we redirected, so they first fired. Six and a half. All these guys are under six except the half squad. That was a bold and audacious move. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. DM zone. And keep in mind, I will not be able to uh, soft rally the next turn. So who do we have left to fire? That's going to be defensive. So here we have a four even shot. Four, four on the four. Four on the four. Another one morale check. Morale check, of course. Breaks. It's not over. And he's no longer CX. Remove all residuals. I think these guys can only fire adjacent units, so that ain't gonna happen. Um, So now, that's it for defensive. Let's go to advancing fire. So these boys can fire a six up three to there. Uh, these guys can fire a ridiculous amount of, of units. And I think we we would. Now, this fellow here, he has a salt fire, so it's a four up zero, a four even shot here. So let's let's do that. IFT, four even. Four again. Uh, four even, four and a four is the one morale check, and he breaks. And why not fire there? A two even shot. No, a one even shot. Let's do a one even shot. Let's see what happens. Seven on the one? No. Anything over a five is nothing. A two up three? A two up two, actually. Two up two. Nothing. So they advance far. And here to there. What do we got there? So we got uh, soft fire, so we got four, eight, eight, and um, one and a half doesn't change anything. Um, so eight uh, up four minus two, eight up two. Uh, seven, nine, just a pentas check. Leader takes a pentas check because if he doesn't rut with his squads, he's in big trouble. All right, uh, let's do that tax check. Uh, eight, he passes. All right. Let's turn it to route phase. Uh, we could have done also a seven up three there. Uh, let's see. That's no, nothing. All right, advance. No, 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 go back to clean up the board. Prep, death. Let's see where are we going? Oh, this guy, uh, rug phase, rug phase. Okay, so he will rug back. Uh, ultimately, ultimately, this is open ground. So this fellow here uh, will have to low crawl to there because it's interdictable. Or each unit can try and route back and try and take interdiction. Um, but they'll have to leave the heavy behind. And um, and uh, the other news is, is that that leader cannot try and take that um, 
heavy because it will be routing with one of the two units, ideally, and um, there's no recovery as per A4.44 in starter kit. So we'll take the unit first and instead of uh, uh, routing back, low crawling back, to so take interdiction. So we'll just low crawl. Yep, we'll low, we'll low crawl, that makes sense. This guy can take his light machine gun and uh, put that there, put this guy there. Uh, it's the American turn. So the Americans had to route first. Okay, he low crossed there. He'll uh, go this way. One, two, three. This guy will low crawl here. Okay. Now these guys are already low crawl. This guy routed there. Okay. So we're in good order. We're doing well. Now, advanced phase, advanced phase. These guys advanced there. Uh, this guy's not CX, so he can advance to there. This fellow will advance to here. Well, this guy had to run as well. Now, let's take a look at his possibilities. I think the only way he could have routed was to route in this direction. So, do we put all our horses in one basket? Well, why not? All right, everybody's going in here. We only need one CX counter. Actually, let's take that back. Okay, let's take that back. Okay, so what are we going to have here is one squad and one MMG are going to advance to there. <laughs> I'm afraid this guy's going to get back up and this guy's going to cover the road. And this guy's going to go there. All right, now we have one close combat right down there. This guy's in the building, good. All right, so we have a one-to-one, -one and that CX goes off the board. A one-to-one, -one and uh, it's the American turn five, and then the Germans have to counterattack. So one-to-one, -one, five, that will do it, and the American squad uh, is uh, gone. So he is in the casualty bin. Okay, move the moves. And that was close combat. And here's the grand finale, a German turn five. So we're back with German turn five. Let's roll it to rally phase, boink. And uh, they're not in rally terrain, so it's a base three. They each need four to rally. Right there, this guy is no longer under melee. He wiped out that uh, squad. Let's roll it. Let's see what happens. And they're still under DM. Actually, we should have done recoveries first, and he's going to try and recover the heavy machine gun. Uh, one of the squads first. He got it. There you go. Point. That's a good thing. They're still under the M and they're broken. Uh, well, I should have done self rally first. We'll try and self rally this dude. Nope, that didn't work. This guy's no longer under DM. Uh, 
This dude is no longer under DM. And let's not forget about him. We don't need snake eyes. Nope. And they're still under DM. So the only joker in the in the uh, in the uh, whole kid and caboodle is this dude and this dude. Oh well. And so is this dude. Alrighty. So what do we do now? Rally face prep fire. So we'll have one prep fire right here, two there. Okay, so what do we got there? We got nine firepower factors times two is 18, falls down to 16 up three against these units over here. Okay, 16 up three. Here it goes. Does not get rate. He has nine on the sixteen table. Nine on the sixteen table is still a one morale check. Okay, so Taylor has to roll an eight or less, ideally seven or less. Let's see what happens. Eight plus one is nine, so he's pinned, which sucks. <laughs> and now the leader of the squad needs to roll a five or less. And he not only uh, breaks, but EORs, because he rolled a 10. And he prep fired. He did not get rate. No. Hube cannot fire. This squad and that squad are all good. So on to movement, and I see a way for the Germans to win quite easily. So due to the failure of this attack here, he can go one, two. Was line enough say to him? Nobody. And three. there now he has a line of sight to him and he can fire from here to there so that would be one hindrance so that's a six even shot Boxcars, he cowers. And now, can he fire there? I'm going to have to take it. It's blocked. No rate. He can't fire, he can't fire. And we went one, two, three, late CX, four, five. He won't even try to, to uh, go in there. No, he will. What the heck? Here, assault move. Boom. What are you going to do?
Okay. Defensive fire. Uh, fire. Well, he had to go there. Okay. All right. So we have a 12 even shot here. Oh, even shot. Let's do it. That's a good shot. Twelve even, and a four and twelve. The three morale check. It's pretty good. So five. One two three four. Plus a three. Leader makes it. And squad, the casualty ULRs and casualty reduces. What's going on? ULR, casualty reduce, clone, put them in the casualty bin, and breaks. So for that leader, we rolled a four, plus three, seven. So he's good. And uh, he final fired. Now my other big threat, other than this dude, that leader's done. We'll fire here to there. But I think uh, the Germans have this one. A range of six and two hindrances. So we got uh, eight, eight up one, nine pin toss check. He pins, so he's out of the game. And no rate, so he final fired. These guys fired. And now the only saving grace is if this guy has line of sight to there, and I'm pretty sure he clips to there. Uh, two up three. <laughs> two up three, what do we have to lose except their dignity? RFT? Nope. So he final fired. And. The half squad is going to take a, a line of sight check here, but I can't, I can't, I, they have to fire as a fire group. So, you know what? Let's take it. We have nothing to lose. We can't fire in the advancing fire phase. And it's good. It's good. It's good. Range of three as well. Only one hindrance. So we got seven for the heavy. It breaks down on 10. Uh, the rate goes down by one, and we got a three for the squad. So we got an eight up three. Eight up three shot, guys, on that guy. And this is the game winning shot or the game losing shot. Eight up three, close your eyes, take a deep breath, shoot. Yes! Yes. Six on the eight table. So one morale check. If he breaks, he's a goner. But we didn't get great, did we? We did. We did get great. Okay. So we said six on the eight table is a one morale check. Six on the eight table is a one morale check. Let's see what happens. Morale check. We made it. Five, six. We made it. But we did get great. Should we fire again? This time it will be a six up three. We have no choice because this guy cannot affect the game. Six up three, let's do it again, one more time. Damn! Damn! No rate, final fired. And let's go to advancing fire, advancing uh, fire. Uh, there is none. Let's go to route and let's clean up the board. Prep and death fire. And 
He'll go one and a half, two, three and a half. This guy's on top. Uh, these guys will route back to there. This guy will route back to there. This guy has to route to there. This guy will go one, two, three to there. Uh, this guy's not adjacent to anybody. And that's route. Here's advance. Well, I think the Americans won after you're all in, you're said and done. Because uh, this guy can only go here or here. And let's read the victory conditions again. <laughs> read the victory conditions again. An American player wins at game end if there are no good order German MMCs in a stone building hex less than or equal to 3x's from M3. So ultimately, this guy had too much peach snaps. And instead of going into a stone building, he went into the open ground thinking that that zone was the victory location. Oh, darn. He should have gone, uh, I guess, into here and then into close combat with this guy. Yeah, even at CX. He went the wrong direction. He ended up in open ground. He should have ended up in in a a, 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 uh, a stone building right here instead of up there. Gone into close combat with him and Hube could have gotten in there as well. The odds weren't pretty good, but still been closer and but he wouldn't be good order if he didn't win the um, melee yeah so ultimately he would have had to win the melee so Americans won despite the fact that this attack here faltered but um, and, and ultimately not too many units uh, uh, were eliminated for failure to route I think only one or two Let's see what happened here. And a lot of uh, squads got decimated uh, because they were running out in the open. And not everybody uh, died outright. There was a lot of half squ squatting happening, I believe. So we have five CVP to uh, Allied 3. Wow. 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 A nail biter down to the end. And at one point, towards uh, turn three or four, or I was saying, why didn't I move? Why was I prep firing so much? But then the last minute dash kind of made a, a world of difference. Well, three hours, guys. Well, it's the first time I've done a three hour video in a long time. The last uh, time I did a three hour video, I think, was for scenario 12, using a classic with the late Bob Osipov. May God rest his soul. And, um, uh, you know, it was about time that I did a video longer than 20 minutes and just took my time and did some starter kit for the fun of it. And uh, also because, let's face it, look, um, ASL is a complicated game. It is tax, tax, uh, taxing on the rules and there's a lot of twists and, 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 and tactics in it. But starter kit... It's pure tactics. It's pure tactics and, and strategizing as well. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I want to give a, a, a sincere thank you to all the viewers that uh, stopped by and, and, and watched the channel. Um, I'm going to try and tone down the advertising of, of my channel on Facebook and Discord for one reason or another. And, and just, you know, hit the notification button. The other thing I want to tell you about is that um, um, I, I went over to the uh, YouTube channel for two and a half squads and I saw at least two wonderful episodes over there. And one was with this fellow by the name of Charlie. I forget his name. And how could I forget his name? Look, I've only been in ASL for two and a half years or so. And, but he, he was uh, the map maker of the original boards, you know. So... He's been around for a long time. And I also saw an interview with Ken, uh, Ken Dunn, uh, Keith Dunn. Keith Dunn? Yeah, Ken Dunn. K 
he's done. And uh, Perry Fogg. And that was a great, at least one hour of, of pure splendor and uh, insights as to what's going on with, um, with uh, ASL. I got Spec Ops here and I got the journal with um, St. Mary of Gleese, the, the hassle that's coming out, right? Um, maps were done by Keith Dunn and uh, Sean Boyd. Um, so I'm looking forward to that, um, to that um, uh, uh, hassle I pre-ordered. And, and Doom Battalions, don't give it up this time. When it goes back to the print, hog it. Get it. Get it because, of course, there's the Greek counters in there. The Allied Miners. Can't go wrong with the Allied Miners, right? So um, watch out for that on the MNP site. George, signing out. Take care.